up guys welcome back to my channel my name is ariel and i am the co-founder of flourish lashes okay i have a quick question for you guys do any of you feel like you have imposter syndrome if you don't know what imposter 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 syndrome is then let's ask another question do any of you feel like you know lashing super well, you know the technique, you know the skill, you know your stuff. But when it comes to actually sharing your information or actually putting yourself out there, you just start to get these feelings of feeling almost like a fraud. If that is you, then this video is for you. Okay, so if you're still here, chances are you've dealt with imposter syndrome or you feel like you've had imposter syndrome. So let's go over what it actually is. Okay, so one of the things I've learned in 2023, not even 2024, is that we often say things or we claim things and we don't actually know what they mean or we just kind of like roll with the punches. So imposter syndrome can actually be one of those things in the sense that so many people talk about it and people just kind of throw words out there, but we don't necessarily go through the definitions of, the th of these things or actually fully understand what it even means. So let's just go through really quickly what imposter syndrome actually means before we go into if you have it or not or how to fix it. So imposter syndrome is really and truly Actually, let me pull up a definition. Okay, so we did a little Google here just to give you guys an idea. So it says, imposter syndrome is fear of failure. Artists may be afraid of failing and be exposed as a fraud, which can lead to self-doubt and imposter syndrome. So really and truly, it's just about feeling like a fraud or feeling like what you're saying, you're technically not qualified to say, or you can't justify why you should be the one actually saying these things. Does that make sense? Okay, now let's take me for instance here. I feel like when I started off, first of all, I feel like we are so quick to just like, like look at people that have followings and things like that or see you know what other people are doing and be like ah they why are they even talking about this they obviously never dealt with that but I want you guys to remember that we all started somewhere and I absolutely started at zero zilch nada nothing okay so which means I have gone through every single feeling that you're going through right now or could be going through and I want you guys to know that it is very much real. It's very much a feeling. And because it is a feeling, feelings can change super quickly. And that means that once you kind of understand what it means to have this feeling, then it makes it easier to get over it. So that being said, I want you guys to fully understand that even when I started my YouTube channel, even when I started putting myself out there in general, like, yeah, sure, I'm super confident in it now. I mean, I could be more confident, but I mean, I definitely am better than what I was when I started, but I definitely went through times where I just felt like it was just not for me to say, or I just felt like I couldn't say things or I wasn't qualified enough to say certain things, or what if someone was gonna come correct me and make me look stupid? I feel like that was the biggest one when I would say certain things about, lashing or education or anything like that and then i would be fearful that someone's gonna come and be like well you're stupid because that's wrong like that's just not right and realistically that has never happened to me knock on wood but it's never happened because that fear we build up or that imposter syndrome we build up is literally in our heads and we start psyching ourselves out before we even try and realistically what is the worst that could happen here somebody could message you and say that i don't agree with that but really you know this information like you know it because you've lived it you experience it you know firsthand if you're saying what you're saying you're saying it with conviction and the more you say something with confidence the more you say something with conviction the less likely anyone's really going to come question you because they're probably feeling the same self-doubt that you were feeling before you even came out and said what you were trying to say does that make sense okay so let's talk about a couple ways that we can get over imposter syndrome it's crazy because we constantly say that word like imposter syndrome imposter syndrome but it really is rude in confidence confidence is key here and this is how you like get over that feeling or even just start to shy away from that imposter syndrome feeling because really and truly what starts to happen is you start to realize that the things you're saying or the way you feel or what you truly do believe in is true and you already know it's true so now it's just a matter of getting rid of that shield and really understanding that what you know and what you believe in is valid okay and the best way to do this and the reason why i want to go down this route is because we are all lash artists here and this is the best way for you to overcome this exact feeling so let's go over a quick activity okay so what we're gonna do here this is super simple super easy but one of the best ways you can get over imposter syndrome is understanding where you are and understanding how far you've come okay so what happens is most of the time especially as lash artists 
when you start to do something more often, you tend to believe that that is a norm, okay? So you tend to think that you know this information, that means everybody else knows this information and it becomes basic information, if that makes sense. Although it's not basic information, in your head it is because it's become such a social norm for you or it's just become an everyday. So the value of that information to you is no longer as valuable as it was in the beginning. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because we get trapped into that feeling and when we wanna share certain things and that imposter syndrome kicks in, we start to sit in that pool of, oh, that information is basic. Why would I say that? Or why am I sharing my opinion? That's like, everyone knows that. But that's not the case because we need to remember that not everybody is at the level that you're at. Everyone is going to be at a different level when it comes to skill level, technique, business knowledge, anything. It doesn't even matter. We're all at different levels. So that means that everybody has something to learn from everyone, which means the information you know may be basic in your head, but it's not to everybody else, okay? So it's about finding your right audience when you say certain things. Now, that being said, back to the exercise, because I totally just drifted off, is that you're going to make a timeline, okay? So you're gonna make a timeline here that's really showcasing where you were when you wanted to become a lash artist and where you are today, okay? Now, the reason we're gonna make this timeline is because we wanna um, we want to highlight our challenges. We wanna highlight all of these things that made it difficult for us to get where we are today because those challenges, those hardships, those really, really tough moments, those are the moments that have brought us to where we are, okay? And those are the moments that you're gonna reflect back on to really come into your own and understand that you are not a fraud and you know what you know. And that feeling of imposter syndrome is just that, a feeling. Just like motivation, just like sadness, just like happiness, it is a feeling that can be rewired and can literally just be pushed to the side. It's just a matter of how you look at yourself, how you look at what you've done over the years, and how you really reflect back on the challenges you've gone through. Because it is not easy being a lash artist, and it's not be easy going through the journey of being a lash artist. That's why so many lash artists quit almost before they start because it's just that difficult. It's not an easy thing. So that in itself is a confidence boost and should be a confidence boost if you haven't thought about it yet. So it's all about reflecting on the hardships and understanding what it took for you to get here. And sometimes we kind of tuck those hardships away or those challenges away because we've, we've been there, we've done that, we don't wanna reflect back onto it because it was maybe a challenging time. But I promise you when you're in this scenario right now, trying to figure out how to get over that imposter syndrome, those moments are going to be key to having you realize who you are and what you went through and how that makes you a valid person to speak on certain things, okay? Okay, so that was pretty much just like touching the surface on imposter syndrome. It is a super deep topic that requires a lot of self-work and it's a lot of really coming into your own. And because everybody's situation and everybody's story is obviously going to be different. That means everyone has their own level of work to do. That being said, I have created a space where we can fully talk about this and the resources you need as an individual to get through the imposter syndrome feeling are actually in there. So I'm going to leave the details for my community. It is an all-inclusive space that has absolutely everything you need in it. Not only just imposter syndrome but business tips empowerment really coming into your own as a business leader as a lash artist leader and getting the best version of yourself in that realm so i have put all the information you need on the community in my description so i would love for you guys to check that out but that is it for this video if you guys have any more questions if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll be back with something new next time bye